hey, I have made a little arrangement with the stack, and I have placed the four high values right here on top of the deck. These are the uh, aces. So I have a spade, a heart, a diamond, and a club, and we're going to play a game with these four cards. The game we're going to be playing is called Follow the Leader. This is going to be the leader ace, and these three aces will be the followers. Now, besides that group of four, I'm going to shuffle these cards up, and we're going to use four random cards from this pack. Uh, the only restriction I'm going to make on these cards is we do not use any high values. So no jacks, no queens, no kings, just a collection of number cards. And I'll show you uh, what I'm going to arrange here in just, just a moment. This will be a good group. What I did was I put together four cards of the same color. So we're not going to use any court cards. We're just going to use these one, two, three, four black uh, number cards, which you can see right there. So I have a collection of uh, clumps and spades. Now I'm going to place one black card right there on that ace, our leader ace, and here's what's going to happen. We're actually going to make these three followers disappear one at a time, individually, <laughs> and uh, switch places with the number card that's sitting on the top of the leader ace. So, here we go. This will be ace number one. You're going to see it happen. Just a snap. That ace is gone. And this is just one, two, three, four black number cards over here. Two aces left on the table. Now, I'm going to show you the black card that we're going to use here. The number card is the nine of clubs. Do not take on your eye off that nine of clubs sitting right there on those two aces. Watch ace number three. Just the snap of the fingers. One, two, three, and four. That ace is gone. The nine of clubs. Hey, he's right back home. So we're going to do this again. One more black number card right there on those three aces. Now that leaves me with three. A nine of clubs, eight of spades, seven of clubs right over here. All right, so here we go. One ace left to go. Do not take your eye off that bottom card. Just a snap of the fingers. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, that is my four number cards right over here. Therefore, I got my aces over there. But you know what? I thought it'd be really fun to do a different game. Yeah, let's play a game with our uh, kings, our king of clubs, hearts, diamonds, and spades. And we'll have a version of the dating game with the queen of hearts, queen of diamonds, queen of spades, and our queen of clubs. And I just thought that might be a little more interesting. Hey, if you like the effect, give it a thumbs up. Now, in Jack's book... This last book here, which you can get at Vanishing Ink, uh, Jack has a trick in here called Final Jazz Aces. And over the last uh, I've worked out two versions of uh, the Final Jazz Aces. He, Jack had it up on YouTube about a year ago, and I started I really liked the routine, and I started to play with the routine. So this is my uh, second take on the routine. Each one, each of the two routines have different tweaks. I think I like this one better because at the end of the trick, you, you can just launch into another trick using your uh, kings and queens. So you're left basically left clean at the end. If you want to see another really fun effect from All In, make sure you click on that link right over there. And if you loved Ungimmicked, Ungaff Card Magic. Hey, make sure you click on subscribe. It does help me out. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to catch you the next time.